Well, hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. Today we have got a new Root Digital game. This is going to be completely live, and it is something that I've kind of been waiting to do just to see it kind of as an experiment. And this is going to be the first time that I've actually been playing Root Digital in quite a few months now. Um, so I thought that diving back in and just letting my live actual it during gameplay thoughts uh, come to life might be helpful for you guys. Um, we all played random factions, so I randomly got the Woodland Alliance. We've got a message here. <laughs> Lord of the Board official. Yes, this is the YouTuber. All right, so we've got the cat starting over in the top right corner. Birds obviously going to be starting opposite of them. Uh, let's see what we've got. Oh man, there's been some like quality of life improvements in this. Um, that are very interesting to me. I haven't got my supporters yet. Oh, thank you so much. All right, and the uh, good old birds are going to be starting with the despot leader as well. Let's see. Okay, so we've got Cornelius as the Eerie. We've got El Schmeck as the Marquise de Cat. And we've got Zoet Bekshi. I am not saying any of these names right. As the Riverfolk Company. This is a great, this is a great uh, faction combination. I really like this. That's so cool from Argentina. Man, people are just so nice. <laughs> They're way, way too nice. I have been thinking uh, though, like <laughs> just something that I've been thinking about doing has been um, essentially changing my name for Root Digital just to ensure that people don't know that it's me. Um, I don't know. I don't think it makes a huge difference, but there have been a couple of times where it's been like, oh, come on, you guys, that was not a good move. I feel like you guys were just too afraid that, you know, I'm Lord of the Board or whatever. I'm not that great at Root, honestly. Um, okay, so we've got uh, a bunny, we've got a mouse, and we've got a bird. Hmm. The Eerie, what are they adding to the decree right now? Okay, so they added a bird and recruit. Pretty good. It's a good start. Nice and safe. Crafting a boot. Nice. That's actually a good move. I like that. Doesn't make a difference because disdain for trade only allows it to be one crafting point. So since they're crafting the boot, it's still just going to be one, which is awesome. But yeah, and if this uh, if this live. Uh, kind of filming style while I'm here ends up working out um, Please definitely subscribe below and let me know in the comments section if this is something that you want to see more of uh, Because these are a lot easier to produce than the kind of talking over gameplay after the fact that the gameplay has already been made So instead of waiting for interesting games to pop up I'm just gonna be filming the game and whatever this ends up turning into will just go to YouTube And I've kind of already decided that that is the case So if this is a super short game, it's going to YouTube if it's a long game, it's going to YouTube um, it doesn't really matter, and I'm going to do very minimal editing. So if you do not like to hear waiting and pausing, then this is not going to be the video for you. But I really do hope that you will stick around and listen in um, and watch uh, for the rest of the video. All right, so we've got the River Folk dropping a trade post in their clearing, getting another uh, recruit there. Uh, we've got a purchase from the birds. What did the birds... Uh, we are going to decline that offer. What did the birds... I didn't even see that. Oops. Um, oh. Ooh, there's an ambush. Okay. Well, cool. All right. We have no clearing to revolt in. So now we need to figure out where we're going to go. We've got a bunny, a mouse, and a wild. We want to drop all three of them down. And so I'm thinking that we can just kind of scrape across the middle of the map here. I think these three would be really good. Um, yeah, why not? Let's just do it. Okay. 
And that way we kind of got just the whole middle of the board and the most populated clearing being uh, this good old fox clearing. Um, now we've kind of got a nice little setup here. Okay, and what do we got? In evening, you would draw cards. You may instead take one ambush. No, not. We'll put that into the supporters. Uh, crafted items box, pretty good. When moving, you ignore roll. Corvid planners is extremely good. Um, I'm actually going to craft... Corvid. Oh, or should I just put that in the supporters, or should I wait a little bit? Uh, for There's no saboteurs out just yet. You know... That's a really good late game card. I don't really need it right now, but um, so yeah, we'll 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 hold on. Now you know what? I think I'm just gonna mobilize it. I'm gonna mobilize all of it because I think mobilizing all of it will probably be the best. Definitely, definitely. All right. What do we got going on here? The Marquise de Cat is making their move now. Um, and they are going to be crafting Root Tea right out of the gate. Really good craft. B pretty much any item crafts right now are going to be really great because there is no Vagabond to benefit off of those item crafts. So really anything is good at the moment. Um, so I'm happy about this bag right now, I'll say that. Um, so we're getting attacked here and I'm definitely going to be losing that sympathy. Um, which is going to give me... Oh, so they did not have a mouse card, so I just got one from the top of the deck, getting a bunny, which I have no complaints with. Um, I'd rather they be attacking here on this mouse than attacking here on this fox. Um, this is what I would like to be my base, even though it's the most populated. I I think it's a fun, like, turn one base, essentially. Um, and if I can kind of hold it long enough, um, it can be pretty good. Now let's see what they've got in their hand. Ooh, they've got a false orders card. So no saboteurs. Ah, maybe I should have held. Maybe I should have held on to the to the Corvid Planners. It's such a good card. Oh no, they're gonna take another sympathy. So that's that's unfortunate. Um, it's very likely that the birds will probably take the third sympathy token. So let's see. Oh, and I just sucked up a saboteurs. Just sucked up one. Not bad. All right. Okay, and we've got Cornelius's turn coming up with the birds. Now, they're probably going to capitalize on the fact that there is a sympathy token here, undefended. Um, they will likely move in and take it for that two victory points. That's going to be um, that's going to be because of their lord. Or, no, sorry, not the lords of the forest. It's because of their disposability or sorry, despot's ability. Um, if you remove at least one enemy building or token in battle, you score an extra point essentially. They're going to be adding another bird card to the decree and into the recruit. So this might be a um, no turmoil bird strategy that they're going for. I am not completely sure just yet. And they are going to be crafting mouse partisans. That is an interesting craft. I like it, though. Um, basically, what is this little glitch here? The, there's no image on the mouse partisans. It's so weird. Um, also, what, is this a button? Oh, okay. There's like a lot of like little new UI things that I appreciate that have been added. Okay, so yeah, the birds... Oh, they're going a different direction than I thought, and they only have one move, so if they are not going to take the fox, then I will likely be able to revolt, unless the river folk go ahead and take it. However, the birds do have a really strong decree so far with the basically all bird um, decree, so they're, they're definitely in a strong position. Um, it is possible. No, no, they could have definitely gone in there and taken out my sympathy token, but yeah, who knows? It probably would have been a better move, but I mean, they're 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 still spreading out good. All right, so the Riverfolk Company is going down to the bottom right. Rabbit clearing, dropping another trade post, doing everything as most Riverfolk Company folks do. Uh, getting a lot of those trade posts out in spaces where they already have their otter warriors is good because you're just basically growing and growing, um, eventually becoming what is called the otter ball. What I hope does not happen is that I hope that they do not start leaving these trade posts easily accessible because that's going to give a lot of extra points to the Eerie Dynasty, especially with their despot leader. Um, being able to get that extra victory point really does help them a lot. Okay, so... 
It is my turn. Um, I have the option to do a service. We know that we do not do that as the Woodland Alliance. And I am going to go ahead and take this gambit here um, and go ahead and revolt in the Fox Clearing because it's just a really good move. Um, I'm really happy that ended up popping off. All right, so now we have some options to spread some more sympathy. Where's our sympathy tracker out right now? So we can still just spread one and one, and more sympathy is better than no sympathy. So I'm gonna hold on to the bird, and I think I'm gonna spread here and here, just to get two out. Um, and then we could craft, um, or we could Put that inside of our hmm, mobilize or craft the bag. I think we're gonna go ahead. I don't want to go up the track super quick, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mobilize it. And then as our one move, we're just gonna go ahead and recruit and pass the turn. Getting two cards. Okay, this is really good. We've got two boots. Oh man, I think there's only one boot left to craft. Uh, Zoet Beck. Is trying to make me buy that fox ambush. As well, I shall respectfully, oh my gosh, respectfully decline. Not a lot of warriors to spend. Just being honest, you know. Okay, so we got a little scuffle in the bottom rabbit clearing here. The cat's coming through and taking out some of the river folk's troops. This is actually a good... That's a, that's a good move in order to check the river folk. Um, only reason is because, uh, really, the river folk, the only real way to kind of slow them down is just to take their, their board presence away, which is their warriors, before they become too strong to where they cannot be stopped. So, this was a really good move from the cats in order to kind of check the river folk. Um, I should be checked here soon, and also birds should be checked here soon. However, if neither me nor birds are checked, I'm cool, because then I can just kind of keep bursting, and they'll probably keep bursting, and at some point, um, I might be able to pass them up and win. It just depends on how fast the birds are going to start bursting. But either way, uh, we both should probably get checked here soon. And yeah, we'll we'll see if that actually happens. But And we've got the birds just thinking about what they're going to assign to their decree. They've got a hand of three cards, so I am curious as to what they're going for. And boy, we... We are really benefiting right now off of these crafting cards. We can only craft one, so hopefully we can keep this uh, rabbit sympathy clearing. Uh, that way we can go ahead and craft one of these at the beginning of our next turn, getting that last boot out. Um, I always forget we can check the discard pile now. Ooh, we got a bird ambush in the discard pile. Pretty dang good. Uh, all right. So what did the birds do? So they added a they added a fox to move. It's going to limit some of their movement opportunities, but it looks like they're going to be either funneling from here to here or from here to here. And they might hmm. Yeah, they might want to be moving through here, but that's going to just give me sympathy. So unless they're coming in to attack me, that might be kind of a bad idea. I guess they have options here as well. Actually, it was a really, really good move because there's a fox here, fox here, fox here. So no matter what path they go down, they're going to get that move to just go one step further or just go back and parade. Um, so let's see. Oh, they're redoing all of that. They're redoing it all. Man, I thought that was a good move. Putting the fox in there was actually not bad. Um, they're going to redo it all. They're, they're rethinking. Um, they're going all the way back, it looks like. Now they're assigning cards to the decree again and deciding what they're going to be doing here. Hmm. All right. So it looks like they put one in battle. Yep, a bird in battle. So yeah, like I said, this is looking to be a no turmoil eerie play here. Lot of bird cards in the decree. Whew, this works well because it's really hard to turmoil them. 
Um, but on the opposite side of that, it hurts really bad when they do turmoil. They basically have to put all of their focus to not turmoiling. That's going to give me a card. Is it going to give me a mouse? It is. Ooh. I wish I had that. And this is going to give me another mouse or top deck card. Let's see what it brings in. Oh my gosh, a wild. That is so good. <laughs> Got really lucky there. Jeez. But, dude, they're already at nine points right now. They're doing really well. They've got a huge board presence right now. Um, if they're not stopped, we could see a really, really bad situation here. Now, should I get another revolt out and start up a second base for my military operations? I think, yes, I want one more. So, if I have the option to revolt in that bunny clearing I think I'm going to and probably craft that boot it'll bring the good card draw and we need good card draw right now and also this fox card instead of putting it into the decree I could put it towards uh, hiring a new officer which I think I might do um, just so that I get some more uh, evening actions that would put me at three actions for the evening two bases I would have three warriors because I get the free one plus one victory point and then maybe recruit recruit and do one move or something like that is probably what this will look like yeah I think that's probably the best move I think I'm gonna end up going with that definitely definitely so obviously we're gonna decline that that Fox ambush is nice but I just cannot that's two wilds, though. It's two wilds. I mean, it's a good opportunity to have two bases side by side, well protected. So I think I'm going to do it. And hopefully I can bait the Yuri to come in towards and against me. Because right now, since they don't have the extra hit, uh, I don't mind if they come and attack me. I think it would be a good trade. Cool. Okay, so we're dropping in another base. Um, and here we're going to go ahead, uh, I guess we could spread, we could spread, it's expensive. Um, okay, who do I want to take cards from? I want to soak up the bird's actions, but I don't want to give them free points, so I think I'll spread this direction. And maybe that wasn't a good idea to spread there, but... The next, we're, we're getting into the two supporter tier now. So I'm going to go ahead and make an officer with this one. It's going to put me at four. Uh, no, sorry, three officers, four left in my reserve. Then I'm going to go ahead and craft this card. Get that boot crafted. That will be the last boot. And then for this, we're going to go ahead and just get a warrior. We're going to go ahead and get a warrior here. And you know what? We might as well just get three and three, actually. I don't want to really risk it too much. We're just going to be really super protected in two clearings, essentially. Oh my gosh, a root T. Oh, so good. And this, if it survives, <laughs> imagine the power. It's not going to survive, but imagine. Imagine if it did, though. Okay, so we've got another recruiter coming out from um, El Schmeck. El Schmeck, El Schmeck. Okay, and they're going to attack that Riverfolk trade post, taking it out. Um, interesting choice. I guess in this case, it's good to deny those points from the Eerie. So I don't mind it that much. However, typically, you don't want to take out those trade posts only because the trade, uh, sorry, the Riverfolk player could just go back there and drop a trade post again, nice and easy. I mean, in this case, not so much because there's five Marquise Warriors. So I, I think all in all, that was a really good choice for the for the Marquise to cat player. Get some extra points, get another recruiter on the board, and get a lot of cats out, essentially. What I'm really scared of is how weakly defended this keep is right now. Only one warrior defending that that uh, Marquise, or sorry, uh, only one warrior defending that, that keep. Um, and it's really looking like a good opportunity to just move three Alliance troops in attack and then run away uh man it's it's a good opportunity but it is still kind of dangerous something that i'm probably not going to end up doing but i kind of want to 
Oof, it's a gamble. I don't know. I don't think it's I don't think it's a good move. Right now, I am actually most afraid of the Eerie Dynasty player, especially with what might come. Do they have any crafted cards? They have mouse partisans, so it's not gonna benefit them in either of my my bases, and I'm not gonna be dropping a mouse base, so. At least not yet. Oh, they just bought river boats. Um, and they might be using river boats. I'm actually kind of curious. Are they using river boats? Crafting the hammer for one point. It's good at denying it against us from getting it. They might be using it to pop my sympathy token here. Does I have to make a mouse move as well? Yeah. We could... No. They only have five birds left, so they could be trying to go for... Oh, let's see. I guess we could just wait for them to recruit out. But boy, that's going to get them really close to victory. Yeah, I think they are going for that sympathy token. I mean, it will bring me two points if they don't, so... It'll be a good move, but it is just kind of... And then it just, it just gave me a bird, too. Oh, my gosh. They only have one combat, though. And they're not going to try to hit either of these bases. See, now, it's this moment right here that I wish that I had kept that Corvid Planners. Because that Corvid Planners would have been so freaking good. You just move right past this. Move right past these birds. Oh, would have been so good. Man, they're surrounding me with all of these warriors too, which is really good play. They're basically just martially lawing me in. What they have not stopped though is this connection between these two clearings, which, I mean, I, I might get there first. Unfortunately for the cats, it's gonna hurt. If I do it, I don't think I will actually. I don't wanna take them out of the game. I just don't have very many warriors left, so it really... Oh, are the Riverfolk going to attack me right now? They have to give me a bunny card. Oh my, they've only got good ones. I'll take it. They might be attacking me right now. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the outer ball is starting. This is also going to stop me from being able to move out of it, unfortunately. And I don't want to be on the attack, so... Definitely slowing me down here a bit. But I don't like them giving this trade post. Ah, man. The area will get double victory points, so it's not good. It's not good. I'm going to decline that. Mm, we get one spread, and it's all freaking expensive. That would be two wilds for one point, which is not a good deal. If I thought that I was going to lose a base, maybe, but I don't think I'm going to lose a base. So... That's my one threshold, though, because I could also drop down, save for the two. Oh, I'm not going to do it. It's just not worth it. Two wilds is good. Um, okay, so could get another officer, uh, which I think would actually be wise. Can't craft the bag right now. Water squatters, okay. Yeah, they're just sitting. They're just sitting on me. I'm going to go ahead and mobilize this one. I could mobilize this. I'm holding out that I might be able to craft it. Who knows? Um, so I'll just hold on to it here. Because I want to go this direction anyways. Because I kind of want to pop this Riverfolk trade post. So that the birds don't get it. Hmm. It's tough. It's tough. Okay. So I've got four actions. I guess we could see how much damage we could bring with one attack, and then I could just move back. And they don't have... 
uh, an ambush that could stop that from happening. So getting that point would not be a bad move. We'll move in. Do a reconnaissance mission, really. We're just going to attack this one. So we're taking the point away from the Eerie, essentially. Um, we've still got how many actions? Uh, two actions left. So we could move back. We could halt there. We don't have any more recruits. So I think a combat here could work or just moving back, organizing one. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of organizing and then moving one. I don't know though. Yeah, we'll do that because that actually would raise their threat level of having one guy there, one guy there. Oh, wait a second though. Wouldn't that have spent the warrior? Where's my warrior in my reserve now? <gasps> Did he just disappear? I don't understand. I should have my warrior back in my supply. Oh no, this is this is the problem. Like that sucks. I don't understand. Why is it not letting me? I guess I'm just gonna move. I don't understand that logic. I guess I'm just gonna be safe and do that. But that literally made no sense, and I'm unhappy about it. Yeah, I guess so. I, so I just don't understand why I didn't pop up in there. That's such a sad glitch. <sighs> and you wonder why I haven't been playing for a couple months. Uh, when I organized, I should have had my warrior in here. Um, so that way I could recruit right over here. But it wasn't processing that I had my warrior. An organization glitch, I think. Which is very annoying. But I'm just playing the safer route because I don't want to lose either of these bases yet if I don't have a second base set up. Uh, which is why I wanted to drop the sympathy here. That way my opponent uh, would basically have to choose... Um, but that's not going to work. So the birds are going to go ahead and... Man, oh, banana. They have, like, two more turns. Maybe sworn four and five. Ooh. How many roosts? They're going to they're gonna be roosted out in two turns. And then they're going to lose only four victory points. They're just doing so well. But Eerie is doing very well right now. And I'm very angry that I got so screwed. Okay, but what did the cats do? The cats looked like they consolidated quite a bit, which is probably a good idea. They've got a lot of warriors in a lot of places, and they re, they can, they uh, they guard their keep again, which is good. We've got a fox battle for the eerie, which means they're going for my base, because why would they go for this recruiter? They're definitely going for the base, I think. I unfortunately do not have an ambush. Of that nature. I wish I did. Um, I only have an ambush of mouse, which would have worked perfectly with my plan to place the sympathy token on this mouse. Please, game! Ah! I needed it to work. It's so annoying. Hmm. Oh, I am actually surprised that they were going to move forward that way. I mean, it's wise for them not to go for my base, but still, it's a little bit rough. I'm going to go ahead and make a comment. These birds need to be stopped. Here, here. Um, we'll see if that goes anywhere. It's looking real bad. Uh, what did they add to their decree? They're just, there's such a simple decree right now. 
It's honestly just like a perfect eerie play. They're just doing very well. <laughs> There's probably so many mistakes I'm gonna look back and be like, wow, why did I do this? I've made so many mistakes. Because at this point, we're just feeding them. We're either feeding them warriors or we're feeding them roosts. They have warriors left? They only have one warrior left. So next turn, they turmoil. Yeah, they'll turmoil on recruit because they only have one bird in reserve and they have to recruit two. They have one bird in reserve and two they must recruit. If we take any birds away they will live another day which rhymes and is also true so we just got to be very careful about that let's let them let's let them turmoil i think that's the best way if we take no birds um, they'll turmoil they'll have no actions on that turn they'll be down to basically a zero and then we can start taking some of their roosts away which is really smart even better is we can kind of start setting up for some traps um, and I really hope that this little reserve glitch does not continue because that really killed me. <laughs> yes, let me score all these roosts one more time. <laughs> Yes, because if he gets all the roosts scored, yeah, he's still going to be down by one. Which is better than the alternative, I guess. And I know that he will not be able to, to take me out. Hmm. Gosh, they did such a good job, both of these players. Uh, I've... I've I gotten really screwed because they just did such a good job basically uh, martially lawing me in the corner and everything else. I'm definitely going to pop one here. Get the one point. Um, oh, it's so expensive. If I get one though, then all my plopping will get some more points. So. Okay, let's just, let's do this one because there's, the chances of me reaching this spot are like nothing. Even though this is a terrible trade, three for one point. Um, I'm getting a little desperate at this point. What can we craft right now? <gasps> we could craft the root tea, no way. Gotta do it, got to do it. Now we're in a pretty good spot. Um, should I also craft Fox Pargan Partisans? In battle and Fox Clearings may deal one extra hit, then discard all of your cards except Foxes. I'm gonna go ahead and craft this one. Why not? And then we're just gonna mobilize the Dominance, keep the ambush in hand, skip forward, and continue. Now, if this glitch continues, I'm going to be very, very sad. Um. Let's see here. What I would like to do is I would like to get one guy over here. And flip them up. Which should have given me a warrior. What on earth is going on? It's like so bad. I just don't even understand what's happening right now. This is a terrible glitch. Like, do I get my warriors back if I attack? I don't know if I wanna, I kinda wanna just test this. 
So one one. Do I get my warrior back here? <laughs> what? I am so screwed. Oh my gosh. I'm literally screwed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I mean, I don't want to do anything else because I'm so limited. It's one, two, three, four. I'm at eight. I've just permanently lost those warriors. What is happening? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. Oh! Never mind. We're all good. Oh my word. Why did I not notice that? Wait, where? Who said that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my word, I'm so dumb. See, guys, this is why you gotta focus more on what happens in here. He built coffin makers. <laughs> my word so they'll come back oh my gosh that's it's just that's just embarrassing i was freaking out this whole time everybody that's been watching the game is like wow this guy's freaking out at nothing i literally did not even notice the coffin makers was there that's just wild okay i wish they had like more like visual ways of telling a player like what's happening like okay when my piece goes like is it just going straight to the coffin makers you know Oh, and this is great because we can take the the eerie warriors because they don't return back to the supply yet because of coffin makers. Coffin makers forces him to still. Oh my gosh, we could have taken his troops. Oh, coffin makers is a killer right now. But it is really this is a very very interesting board state puzzle right now. This is like you just want to screenshot this moment right here and know that the river folk has coffin makers. <laughs> And it makes just everything that much more complex. <laughs> We're all just kind of booming. Man, oh banana, what a wild board state right here. So this is gonna be great because he'll be he'll end his turn at 21 points unless he crafts something. Um which is good, because uh, then he'll be at zero action economy, and then we'll want to attack. And I will get my people back at the end of the Riverfolk Company's turn. How do I check how many are on the Coffin Maker's card is another question. Ah, oh, he's going to craft that sword for one. It's one of the two swords. Dang. And nobody's giving me any favors at all. I wish I... I truly wish I up. Oh, he's going to craft the bag as well. Goodness gracious. This eerie player is just going wild right now. Very, very good play from the eerie undoing that probably keeping the bird card for their next decree is what I assume they're going to be doing there. That's probably why they went back. Whenever another player crafts an item, they get a victory point. Good play. Good play. Cause they know that the, the crafting boom is going to be starting here soon. Very likely. They're going to get one bird. And then they're going to fall. Ah, it's good to see their... It's good to see... The Eerie fall here. Honestly, they're, they're going to be going up pretty high. Because of the, the last craft, though. They're going to be going up four points. So they're going to end their turn at 22. Which is still real strong. 
And with the commander, which is basically just the wall killer, I think, I think they might have it. I don't know. Mm. If I, I don't know. What are they going to do? They've got a lot of actions right now. We need to like... Now it is a great time to hit Eerie. Uh, and me, but I don't want to like make that known. I should be hit, but I, I'm honestly not doing as good as I should. I mean, I'm not doing very well. I haven't really been getting very many good crafts. Oof. We should all be hitting Eerie right now. And I deserve... Okay, good. I got my boys back. Oh my gosh, dude. That Coffin Makers. Also, if anyone gets a Sabo, would love to see that Coffin Makers removed. Because <laughs> it's rough. It is rough. Oh my gosh, they've got a wild ambush in their hand too. Oh my goodness, these. Oof. Are they going to try to take my base right now? I would like to see them just go through the river, take this. Because that would also give me a sympathy, which would be nice. I don't think they're going to do it. Let's just look at the board all close. We haven't done this in a while. How cute all these little animal critters are. Man, I really cannot wait for the Underworld expansion to get into the game, actually. Ugh, it's taken a while. We're all going through some serious pain right now. Wait, what are they doing? What did they do? Just craft another card? What did they do? Oh, I'm so stupid. I can just check this. Uh, I committed two funds to draw a card. Mm. What even is left? A coin, sword, crossbow, and a bag. I've got the sword, but I cannot craft it until I can get another fox. Uh, sympathy token. I'm honestly at the point where I kind of want to lose a base just so that I can like restructure a little bit because I am in pain right now. My current situation is painful. You treat clearings with any of your crafting pieces as adjacent is actually a pretty good craft because that can allow me to get to places that I would normally not be able to get to. Hmm. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I think I might actually craft this tunnels here. Just for some movement options. And then I'm going to go ahead and mobilize... I would like to hold on to the sword because I feel like I need that. Um, so, and I'm obviously gonna hold on to this ambush. Ay, 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 man. Oh, it's rough. Life is rough. Okay, so. I think I'm just gonna have to go out here. I could go out here with two, pop back and then spawn to at the fox base. And that would set me up. But I kinda want another fox is the thing. And I can't move out of here, unfortunately. So that really sucks. So I'm also thinking alternatively, I could... No, I think this is probably the best. So if I go down here, I'm going to bring two, I'm going to flip one, and then I'm going to go ahead and just recruit two at the fox area. I think that's the best move, especially because I want to be very careful about my base getting taken. And then I'm going to go ahead and just pass on that there.
All right, so the cats are doing their thing here. Getting a lot of wood. Oh boy, okay. Crafting leave adventurous mice. Going for a dominance play with the two corners. What? <laughs> what is happening? This game is wild. <laughs> Ooh, I got the bag. That's great. Um, oh my gosh, I got Corvid Planners back. Yes. It's good as well. Uh, so they're probably going to be taking over quite a bit of land here. If the birds can't win on their turn, then they really have to spend a lot of resources trying to take rule away from the cats. Uh, but there's just going to be a lot of points just sitting around if they do this, so... It's going to be a very dangerous move. Oh, they're going for this corner. Wait, what corner are they going for? Wait, what? I thought for sure they were going to go for both fox corner? Or sorry, uh, fox corner and the rabbit corner down here? Oh my. Smacking down the birds in this corner here. That was a pretty good move. So they just got like a really weak kind of uh, side movement here. Actually, this dominance could be used to our advantage just slightly because this might be a big distraction. I don't think it's going to give us enough time to win, but it is pretty good. And our next couple of drops are going to be pretty good as well. We're 15 points out from the game. If I could technically get the one... Plus the two. Oh, and they ended up taking the roost as well. They don't get points for it. So very interesting. Um, it's really easy to stop, but I just hope that neither of us have to do it. We'll just let the birds have to take care of that one. Um, let's see. Wait, actually, it's a little bit more complex. So they have to rule two corners, and they've got all four corners ruled. <laughs> what on earth? <gasps> That's wild. Oh, my word. <laughs> I just had to say that this game has just been absolutely wonderful because I've just been it's just been so puzzling oh my word <laughs> okay so I mean, I can deal with this corner. So really we just have to cut two corners, two bottoms or two tops. And really the two bottoms are probably gonna be the easier ones. Birds can at least tie. Oh, they crafted the last bag. Okay, that, so that takes that option away from me, which sucks. So now, okay, so I've got two points. That put me at 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Yeah, there's no way. Oh no, the birds have fallen into another turmoil. I, I totally missed how that happened. Oh no. Otters, we need you. <laughs> I can take rabbit. I can take rabbit bottom corner. Can you take the other? Oh. I can take the left corner. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh no. The birds. Oh, dude, they're getting really screwed over by all of the. Oh no. By all of the. The, the freaking um, coffin makers are really causing some issues for everyone right now. <laughs> oh no. There's so much points on the board, too, from the cats, but they're actually kind of hard to get to, unfortunately. Uh, so we just need to see one of the 
Okay, that's a top corner. So we have to take opposite corners. But if we just took both bottom corners, that would have been a lot easier. Well, maybe not for the river folk, but that means that I would have to take the other rabbit. I can't, I don't think I can take. Mm, oh, no, no, we're good. Because if I just take this one, then, okay, no, no, we're good, we're good. It was either two bottom, two top. Okay, I see. Ugh, that was scary. Oh my gosh, they have so much funds right now to spend. Goodness gracious. That actually just freed up my movement in here, which is awesome. It's actually great. This is like the opportunity for me to get more stuff on the board. Things are getting sketchier and sketchier for me though. They have a fox. Yeah, they I think they I think they have the fox ambush. What's the discard pile have? Does the discard pile have the wild ambush? <gasps> oh no. It does not have the wild ambush. So the birds have an ambush. Mm, that would be very bad. Oh, that would be really, really bad. I have a feeling of that three roll. Uh, amazing to mo amazing to watch. Ode to the commander who never got to command. <laughs> so sad. Um, I am afraid that cats have a rabbit or wild ambush. If they do, then we're screwed. I didn't see a rabbit ambush. No, no rabbit ambush. Ugh, this is not good. I mean, it might just make it so that I have nothing defending my fox base, which would be bad. But I guess things could get worse, so. And I'm gonna be chucking a ton of things into the decree. Oh, sorry, not to the decree. <laughs> Maybe chucking a ton of cards into my supporters. It's all up to me right now. And honestly, I am not in a great position. Uh, so this is sketch. Um, I like the fact that I, when moving, can ignore roll. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Everything comes back around. I'm going to go ahead and mobilize Charm Offensive, Smuggler's Trail. Getting close to mobilizing this sword, but I'm still going to, I'm still going to hope that I can make it through. And then here, I have to be safe and make the recruit here and then make the move in with all three because just in case there is an ambush I want to be able to take the two warriors this is like the only way yep but I got a 2-0 out of it therefore both of my pieces are back which is awesome I only have one more action so I'm literally sending them both back here Yep. That's why I had to take four. Oh my word. Bake sale? Okay, that is a game changer right there. I don't even know if the game's gonna get to this point, but if it does, oh my word. 
so bake sale changes a lot for me because that would be three three so six I really needed to score that last round but I instead I had to freaking jump in there and punch <laughs> oh my word it's so wild right now so the Marquise de Cat's just gonna set himself up for another Oof. But with every move that they make, they're weakening other positions, so... Like, the birds are going to probably try to take these wood tokens at some point. And I, I just don't think the cats can really... So they're probably going to send in their three cats. Uh, interesting, actually. Going... Going down the right side? Okay, no, never mind, I see. I actually just thought of something. If somebody takes my rabbit base, then I could revolt in the rabbit corner clearing. Oh, no, no. Actually, that would take all of my rabbit cards. Never mind. That would be such a bad idea. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so this is... This is gonna be... Very dangerous. Man, the Marquis might have this one. What are they doing? Okay, they're assigning cards to the Decree. Do they see something that they can do to win here? Are they able to stop this from happening? They have a four and three. That's seven. They can get a recruit. Oh man, it's so sketch. No, no, they'll get two birds. They could get two birds here and then move. Ugh, they don't have a move though. Oh no, they'd have to have two moves. Oh boy. Dude, I think the, the cats might do the cats. Are the cats going to win this? I don't see a way that I can pull a... Oh my word. Yeah, I don't see a world in which we can stop. Oh my word. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Going for the points. Oh no. No, 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 Eerie. No, I don't think we're going to be able to take. I mean, I could definitely take advantage of that, though. Oh my word, no. This is looking... Oh my gosh, dude. The... That was a really good play. So they grabbed an ambush. That was good. Yeah, I mean, I guess if the... If the river folk can, hmm. Man, like the one time that I'm actually considering grabbing uh, river boats would be to just go up here as long as there were one. Which now they're two right now, which is really expensive. But if I could just move up this boat here and take this and take all of that, that'd be really good. It wouldn't be enough to win, but it would be four, five, six points, let's just say. Six plus 15, put me at 21, 22, 23, 24. 
yeah, there's just not enough actions. But 24, and then plus a drop, which would be 3. Still be just 27. So it's close, but it's new. It's not close enough, you know. I've been like three points off most of this game, unfortunately. The Eerie just had such a strong start that even though their entire empire has collapsed, they can still kind of chug along. Oh no! Oh, that was the coins that we wanted to craft, so now that we can't do that, this is making things a little bit more unfortunate now. Hmm. I actually don't even know what the Riverfolk Company are going to do right now. The fact that the birds are still just surviving. Can the cats be stopped? Because if the cats... If the cats cannot stop either of these corners, I definitely cannot stop a corner. Yeah, no, there's just no way. Man, the only thing I really wanted was just like, if I only had saboteurs, it's like, why hasn't a saboteurs come up? I just don't get it. I guess the deck is finally back in circulation, but like, if we had had saboteurs, it would have been so much better. What is the river folk doing with all their stuff? Goodness gracious. They might go for the keep, but they don't need to go for the keep. They need to stop one of these corners. Oh, and there it is. They've now tied it off. Puts the Eerie in a really, really solid position. Golly, man. <sighs> oh, that was low. I mean, I could reach that and get that roost. I just punch it. The things I wish. I wish I had had a fox right now. That's what I wish. I wish I had had a second fox. That would have been so good. But instead, I am mostly just out of room. I don't even have enough to spread one. I think a huge mistake that I could make is revolting here and taking out these three Eerie and a Roost. That would only give me one point. And it would take all the warriors that I have. I'd get five, five officers, which would be insane. But it might crush them enough. I don't know. At this rate, I think the river folk might have a play at the game here. Oh, that was a brutal hit. The otter ball has awoken. The otter ball can get so many extra points with all of these clearings. They might not, because I could just take this right now. That will stop the Eerie. goodness okay oh that was actually better than i thought because then i just got two free recruits dang that was better um it's not what i want to be doing but it is what i have to be doing so now we're just going to put all of this in here because we have to can't craft any of it so it doesn't matter or 
we're moving to the evening phase here and I think we could jump we could get one here and probably should now we're gonna flip that I think I could reach that, but I'm going to say... Ah, I could probably reach it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe I could. One second. Let's see. If I did this instead, I could go one, two... This mouse matters so much. <laughs> oh no. Though that ended up actually worse for me, but it's fine. I guess that's all we'll have to do this turn. <laughs> that was sad. Um, we do not need another bunny right now. We are full on the bunnies. Okay. Wait. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I wish I could have used that. In battle in fox clearance, you may deal one extra hit, then discard all cards except foxes. Did it not give me that option? I guess the ambush happened before, maybe. Yeah, yeah that's probably what it was. That still sucks. Timing on that's rough. Uh, so the cats are now probably going to switch their angle here. Goodness gracious. There's so many cats right now. Building a river boats this late in the game. Interesting. I don't know. The birds might have it here, but they're only getting one point. They have to somehow get that. They have to get some victory points in here somewhere. I mean, I think the river folk have a pretty good chance with their insane action economy and the fact that there's four wood and all of this stuff just sitting. So... All that's making me real sketch. Oh my word. I think this is going to be a double march and they're going to go for the opposite corners. All they have is false orders. Not crafted. It's a great card. putting me in a pretty good position though so oh, man <laughs> it's just whack <laughs> oh no don't do it don't take my sympathy I think that's actually probably a good thing right because yeah I'll be able to read no oh, no it's never a good thing but mm. okay what do they got Oh, yeah, yeah, just false orders. So, can the birds win? I think I screwed the birds when I put my my mouse base there, because that gave me two warriors that really cut them off. I think so. I could definitely be wrong about that.
I don't think the Eerie can win this round, but who knows. Uh, actually, if they can get a good two combats on here, they've got it. If they can get... Uh, actually, moving out would be like impossible for them. Never mind. Yeah, no. I don't think they were able to win this turn. Which puts me at, back at the Riverfolk possibility here. The Riverfolk could literally just keep moving their giant stack of otters, though, so... There's also that. Mm, another combat and mouse. I don't know what they want to do there. I can't believe I still have not managed to get a second fox. Like, I wanted to get this fox craft so that I could get this sword, but I still have not been able to secure that, and it's just sucky. Okay, so looks like the birds are just taking out some of their units here. Um, the cats could just respawn them back, fortunately. Unfortunately. Um... Continuing the surge. There's just so many cats. Goodness gracious. Oh, he's spending all of his attacks here, uh, so... Oh my word. They really won't have a way... I mean, the rolls have been so bad too, unfortunately. So the river folk now have another chance at victory here with a ton of actions. Oh my word. It's like this whole time I've been thinking it could be anyone's game, except I've never thought it was my game. <laughs> I don't think it's ever been my game this time around. Um, they did a really good job with martial lawing early on there. Um, I am conflicted as to what I want to do next, too. That sword is still left uncrafted. They need 10 victory points. They've still got a ton. Dude, the river folk definitely have it. All they gotta do is drop. I think river folk have it, honestly. They could like, they've got 20 points. They could, well already with their own pieces, they could be at 22, 24, 26. And then 28, and then just make up two points. And that would be with four actions. Oh my gosh, the river folk have it. I think that's GG. I don't want to say anything because they might not see it, but I think that's GG. Oh man, no, I, I can't say it. I can't give them can't give them the benefit but I really think they've got it now oh I guess you know what I wasn't taking into account is all the movement that would take it would take like one move two one move two one move two and that would leave them at those and then they could do that and then they would have one action to get two points do they have any crafts oh they would have one and they would need two yeah there's just that's I think their best bet is going for this, right? They could take two guys, get like four, five, six points out of this. Man, that's their best bet. I don't know. I think it might be a River Folk game here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Who are they gonna replace? Probably the, the, the that cat or something. They've really got the potential here. Okay, got that down. Are they gonna really focus on stopping the cats here when they really could have won? I think they could have won. Man, that rabbit is just... I think they could have had it, but maybe they didn't see it. You know what I mean? Oh. If I could creep into this clearing, that would have been that would have been so good. Actually, I might be able to. If my first one goes here onto this fox and my second one goes here into the rabbit, I could actually move there and then attack. Hmm. Huh. It's an option. They're gonna run out of actions here. My oh my. I think that actually might be the best option because that would be what? Oh, they're gonna craft this sword away from me. Well, there's no point in holding anymore. Are they gonna get their last two points here? Is it the, nope, they don't have the, don't have the actions to move out and get the 27. Man, it was just so close. Interesting craft. I think this will give me the options. Yeah, so I think I think I'll be able to get that one out, which is gonna give me three points. So let's see, because if I go here, this would be two. So that's gonna give me two. So it'd be 16, 17, 18, then I drop three. 19, 20, 21. Then if I got six here, I don't know if I would actually be able to get all of that though. Bring me like to 27. This one's three, which is wild. Oh my gosh, I'm actually able to get this one, which is wild because, dude, four, no way. Wait, that actually could be game. I think I need all the actions I can get because if I if I go one, two, and then I go one, two, three, that's five. That would be all the actions I need, right? So I'd have to get one more for that. The only way I was able to do this though is because of tunnels and corvid planners and such. I don't know, man. Oh, that's wild. You know, out of all of the uh, out of all of the options of win. I was not thinking I was an option, but I think the game just lasted long enough. I mean, to be fair, I was putting myself in a pretty good position. I think this was insane. 
But with five, I don't know. Let's see. I think that's game. This one's the easy one. Flip there. And then these guys can just move anywhere I want, essentially. And then we can move from here to here. <laughs> yeah, that's game right there. Absolutely wild. <laughs> My word. What a game, dude. Well, I hope that uh, if you're still here after that wild game Every, anybody could have had at any point that was one of the best digital games i think i've played on here honestly i was like coming back into that from having not played the game in a while that was just an absolute blast uh thank you so much to these players um Zoetbeck, cornelius and elschmeck that was one of the best games on root digital that i've had like i really really enjoyed that game it was so puzzling and i i mean everybody had a chance to win at some point it was just wild but Thank you so much to everybody who watched, and uh, I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this uh, kind of unedited playthrough, uh, please, like I said, drop a like, um, subscribe, and comment down below. That way I can produce more of these for you guys. Uh, just starting to release maybe weekly or maybe, you know, uh, bi-weekly gameplays of Root Digital for you guys. But I will see you next time, and with that, let's go ahead and drop the beat.